Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we are made the wash right before we start washing machine is on. I know it's on. And I, this is my third load and there is gonna be another two. And I don't have a utility room, so the washing machine in the kitchen. This is how long it's literally. Look, this is the washing machine. These are the baskets that I'm like filling. This is my third load and I've still got like all this to go. So Basically, there's a lot of washing to do, and it's going to be on for about three hours, and I can't wait three. Well, I'm doing five loads, maybe six, and they're 30 minutes long each, so it's going to be a while, basically. So, I tried to start already. This is something that we always have on Christmas Day. Today we are making a trifle. Um, today we are making a trifle, which is something you have at Christmas time. a trifle which is a classic Christmas tree dessert we have it every Christmas time and um, we have it every single Christmas it's a wonderful dessert I'm doing a non-alcoholic version but most of them are alcoholic I'm the non-alcoholic version today there is setting time and stuff like that but we're making a classic Trifle. Oh shit, I've already done. I nearly put extra eggs in then. Oh, I it in. So the first thing you have to do, this recipe says a sponge cake, but it doesn't actually give you, it just to try, it just says place the sponge cake in the bottom of, in the bottom Of your trifle pot now. Not everyone's gonna already have. You're gonna have to. I think they shop bought one, or expect you to already know how to make a cake, which I do. But it's always the quantities. How much to this to how much to that? So I'm basically making a basic sponge cake, a very basic sponge cake. You will need 225 grams of butter. 225 grams of sugar and you cream them together that's what I've done you cream them together you can always soften your butter in the microwave four eggs which I put in lemon which didn't work now we're going to add 200 now we're going to add 225 grams of self raising flour with my little sieve I've got a bigger sieve I <laughs> Where my little sieve is probably got put back in another place so we need 225 so it's basically you can do an all-in-one method which basically speaks for itself all in one but it's the same quantity of butter sugar and flour I think I've done bang on the right amount and then what you need is a tablespoon of baking powder. If you've only got plain flour, then you're going to have to use baking powder. But if you've got a bit of self-raising flour, you don't necessarily need it. And then, it's not like you can, because it's an all-in-one method, not, you're not going to lose the air, so you can mix it normally. But there are some things, like a Genoese, you have to be very careful. You don't want to knock up the air in a Genoese sponge. That washing machine annoying. It's 30 minutes. That's why you see the flour. You 
give you flour so there's no lumps, basically. It'll give you flour so there's no lumps. Now, push this down, but I need to get a car, car two troll, but paper to go in the bottom of the cartouche. A cartouche is basically a circle of grease proof paper. It's basically a circle of grease proof paper. Which isn't the easiest thing in the world. I'm not sure I can still do it. So this is actually not the main part. I was um I was tempted I was 50-50 on whether to show you how to make a basic cake or whether to just start from the cake being made but I'm like well if you, want, if you need to have to make a cake not everyone's going to have a pre-made cake so I thought I'll show you how to make it it's very simple this is, a, this is just I want to get this bit of run done with like mega quick because this is not the main bit. So it's butter and sugar together cream, put the eggs in and then the flour. This is how you make like a Victoria sponge. Mm. Mm. I'm going to sit and eat this mixture all day. I'm not sure if I've got, I'm not sure what my best trifle pot is. But I'll go and find one when. I'm potentially filming two videos today. So if I remember, I will try and leave the cake recipe as well as the trifle recipe. This is going to take about 20-25 minutes in the oven and whilst that is um, cooking we're going to be doing the rest of it. You want it on 180 gas mark 4 or 5? I don't actually know. You only need one cake. So yeah, now we're on to the actual trifle. It does say fill the bottom of a large glass bowl or individual desserts glass in with a sponge cake. Cut enough strawberries in half to completely cover the base. So now we need strawberries. Now, My strawberries are frozen. I don't know whether. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm actually going to move my laptop out of the way because I can't risk getting dirty. I don't know the password to my mum's computer, so I can't print. Connect to my mum's computer. So, what we're going to do is we're going to this knife is a bit big. We're going to cut this washing machine is doing my head in, but I, I'm not waiting all day for it to do its thing. So, I'm going to get a bowl. Basically, going to chop my my strawberry. Basically, what you're going to do with your pot, you're going to get your trifle pot. You're going to put the cake in the bottom and then you're going to cover it in strawberries. I think my jelly is strawberry. I hope it is. I actually don't know if I've got enough jelly. It can. Also give these times. It says two. It says. And you actually can't cook. 
you need enough to cover the sponge. Mine are actually hard to chop because they're frozen. Preferably fresh ones would be ideal, but I bought these for something, didn't use them, and now they and basically I bought these for something and never actually used them. And I know how expensive strawberries are. I believe like three or four pounds for a punnet and I need two. I don't know whether they do the same as they do with um whether they do the same as they do with blueberries, have like the massive square punnets. But anyway, you need enough strawberries to cover it. So I'm basically chopping up frozen I might leave them to defrost for a bit. But whilst they're defrosting, let's see if you can do what next. It says make up the jelly according to packet instructions and pour over the sponge and berries. Then pop in the fridge to set. So I oh I didn't scrape the bowl out, mainly because I was in a rush because basically I needed to get the sponge done as quick as possible because that's like not the main part that's a bit like pre, that's like pre-make bit but I made it just in case you need to know how to make a sponge I love a trifle I love also I don't know if there's custard in this trifle that I found but I mean, custard as well, potentially. Basically, I love all things Christmas desserts. I love Christmas cake, Christmas slices, Christmas pudding. I'm making a Christmas pudding uh, next week. I'm making a Christmas pudding, I do believe. So stay tuned for that one. I don't know whether I'm doing a Christmas cake. I think this is finished. Oh, I've got one minute left. Now then, let's get these instructions. Ingredients. They're according to the packet instructions. But there aren't any instructions. Oh, no instructions. For the best results, separate the cubes and place into a jug or bowl. Add 285 ml of boiling water and stir until dissolved. Basically, we're going to get the kettle on. Don't think we need any more flour, so the flour can be put away. If there's any specific Christmas things you want me to make, let me know. But I feel like I've done everything that... like you can do like I've done a Christmas I've done not necessarily in December but I did Christmas cookies I've done Christmas cupcake I've done cookies cupcakes I've done mince pies I've done sausage roll I'm doing a trifle I'm doing a Christmas pudding next week what more can you possibly want let me know what more you possibly want on my channel let me know what you want on my channel because after cupcakes, cookies, mince pies, fresh sausage rolls, trifles, I don't know what more you can want. I love jelly. Basically, you need to separate the cubes. I say that, but I'm not actually separating. I might just dump the whole thing in. It seems quite old because none of it's separating. You know what, I'm just going to put it all in and see what happens. I can't separate them. Yeah, and also making Christmas pudding. I might not do Christmas cake because I don't know. And I've also done lots of festive menus like Costa, Subway, Greg's, and I'm doing Starbucks. That is definitely coming actually now. 
because I wanted every single video. I wanted every single video. I wanted every single video to be Christmas related, but I'm not sure whether that's possible. I believe this is only day 11 or 12 and I'm running out of Christmas videos. I've only got like two more definitely coming. I've only got like two more definitely on the way. So anyway, I think there's nothing else we can really do now until this cake is made. And obviously, so once the cake is done, you want to put the strawberries on the top, cover the sponge. Then you want to put the jelly on top and set it in the fridge. And then we'll come back into the rest of it. So I'll see you as soon as this cake is done. It should take around 25 minutes. So I'll see you in a that bit. That cake took forever to cook and I'm not even joking. Literally took like 40 minutes. Still really, really hot because Oh, it's slightly, it's too big for this. Mm. Slightly too big for this, it's actually filled. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way. We're going to cover it with the strawberries. Strawberries are going to cover it. Today sounds like it's gone off. Then we're going to pour the jelly on top. And then we're going to put it in the fridge to set. And then we're going to make some custard and then we're going to make some custard and cream. So we're going to put this, I don't know how long it's going to take to set, but we need to make custard. So, I'm actually going to have to take my cheesy advent calendar out of this fridge. In that time, I should have hung the washing up and cleared the kitchen and had a shower. Because I've been for a run, but no. Didn't do any of that. So, now we need to make custard. So let me, it involves egg, homemade custard. So, to make custard you will need Mary, I found a Mary Berry proper custard. Mary Berry, but well, the thing is, I've only got one thing of, um, I've only got one thing of cream, and we need the cream for the top, so I don't know how much cream we're going to be able to put in this custard. I don't know if I'm going to remember to put all these different recipes um, on t to the video, but what we're going to need to do is bring the milk, cream, and banana. I don't have enough, I'll just do plain custard. Actually, I might have custard in the cupboard. 
That will actually help if I have custard already. Actually, I've got custard already. I've got Devon custard. So I might just use that instead of making custard. It'll probably... Let me... I'll be back in a few minutes once this starts to set and turn the telly down.